Could I put, Liz, what might seem a very radical idea, economically speaking, that follows perhaps from what Vince has just said? One of the most radical things that any government of left or right could do if it wanted to is to make labor as free as possible, encourage immigration to be as free as possible rather than being restricted. In some ways, that's a right-wing policy rather than a left-wing one. Is it one that you would welcome as an economic libertarian? So I, I believe that we, you know, we do need immigration in our country, that it is incredibly important, but that there should be limits. So I think we've got the balance right at the moment. We're moving towards you know, allowing more skilled people in particular to come to the UK to fill skills gaps. But we also need to make sure that people in this country are able to have opportunities and trained up for the job. So I don't think, I don't think there is anyone in the political spectrum who would advocate a completely free immigration system. And I don't think there is anyone who would advocate you know, simply closing our borders. So I think but, but you know, we're all talking about you know points on a points on a continuum. But if you talk about trajectory rather than points on a continuum, the conversation nationally. I think in we've the got it about right been... at the moment. So I think would... we're in. I think we're moving in the right direction to a more skills-based system. I think that commands popular support. But I think the issue see, was. We want to see numbers lower then. No, I mean I think the issue was under the Blair government that people weren't engaged in that conversation, that the government went off, did stuff, didn't really talk about it. I notice now, when I talk to people in my constituency, they're much more aware of the need, for example, in agriculture to make sure we have enough so your people constituency to, is in Norfolk, in yeah. Norfolk to, to do those roles. I think people are aware that you know, we don't have enough doctors in the NHS and the extra allowance we've made for visas is a good thing. But I think there was a lack of political debate about this issue. And you know, the point I was making earlier, which I think is relevant about economics, is we've moved away from a system where people voted for political parties basically based on how much they earn. I think we are now moving to a system where people are voting on values and they want to hear what politicians stand for. And if we just sit there and spout platitudes that anyone can agree with and aren't honest about what we think, I think that is where people get disillusioned with politics. And that allows you know, organisations like the far right to, to go into that vacuum. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.